Let's look at another problem involving solubility product. Instead of finding molarity, this time let's find the mass of solute that we need to make a solution. And this time, instead of using one to one to one ratios, let's make the ratios a little bit more complicated. Just like before, if we want to find the concentration, we're going to need to know the equilibrium constant. For zinc hydroxide, our KSP value is 4.5 times 10 to the negative 17. Just like before, let's write our equation. So I have zinc hydroxide, ZnOH2, which is a solid, breaking apart into the zinc ion and two hydroxide ions. And these are aqueous, and this reaction is reversible. So our equilibrium expression is going to be Ksp equals the concentration of zinc times the concentration of hydroxide squared. Before we find the mass, we should find the equilibrium concentration, or the concentration where this is saturated. We're going to look for this. We're going to call this x. The ratio between the zinc hydroxide and zinc is 1 to 1, so if the zinc hydroxide is x, the zinc will be x. But the hydroxide is a 2 to 1 ratio, so if this is x and this is x, the hydroxide ion will be 2x. I can plug those into my equilibrium expression. I can say Ksp, which we found to be 4.5 times 10 to the negative 17, equals the concentration of zinc, which we've called x, times the concentration of hydroxide, which we've called 2x squared. Now again, this might look redundant, where I'm doubling my concentration and squaring at the same time, but that's because we're doing two different things. The stoichiometry is telling me that we have a 1 to 1 to 2 ratio, and the equilibrium expression is telling me that I have to square anything that has a coefficient of 2. If I take this statement and simplify it, I get 4.5 times 10 to the negative 17 equals 2x squared, which is 4 times x squared, and then I'm going to multiply that again by x, so I get 4x cubed, and then if I solve for x, I get 2.24 times 10 to the negative 6, and x is representing a concentration here, just like it did in the last problem, so that's going to be molarity. Now the question is not asking for concentration, the question is asking for the mass of solute. So if I know my concentration, then I can find the moles. I can say 2.24 times 10 to the negative 6 molar equals my number of moles over liters, and then 100 milliliters, I got 0.1 liter, so that's going to be 2.24 times 10 to the negative 7 moles of zinc hydroxide. And now I can convert that to grams, because I know the molar mass of zinc hydroxide is 99.42 grams for every one mole. I get 2.23 times 10 to the negative 5 grams. Now this is a really small mass, but zinc hydroxide isn't particularly soluble. The Ksp value is 10 to the negative 17, so it takes very little zinc hydroxide to saturate 100 milliliters of solution.